If you love voxels as much as I do, then here are a few more games to add to your wish list. As a side note, unfortunately none of these games have release dates yet. Up first we have DXIT Eternal Matters. Quite the tongue twister, but this one is a puzzle platformer that takes place in a surreal and serene afterlife. Explore the plane of memory and meet its inhabitants, both friendly and not so friendly. This one doesn't have any combat, so you'll be sneaking past corrupted enemies and solving intricate puzzles as you search for the best path and navigate this strange land. DXIT aims to explore the often taboo topic of death and presents players with a new and more positive perspective on the topic. The developers describe it as an ode to life. The idea of contrast is central in this game and it strives to be epic but intimate. From the footage I've seen, it looks like they're already nailing this idea and they've created a world that seems daunting and vast but also peaceful. This one could definitely explore some interesting mechanics and ideas and I'm excited to hear more from the developer in the future. Okay, maybe you like to face your enemies head on. Then try out the demo for Frog Monster, a Souls-like Metroidvania FPS in a spooky and corrupt world. This one is full of weird plants, secret passageways, and hidden items. In true Souls-like fashion, you'll learn through trial and error along with the help of the creepiest NPC I've ever seen. This game has a really unique atmosphere, and the way that monsters spawn and move around is definitely something I recommend you experience firsthand. The voxel art style here is beautiful, especially when you enter this second area with glowing mushrooms scattered about. The movement is smooth and killing each enemy, especially the bosses, is pretty satisfying. I didn't make it very far in the demo, but if you like frogs, swamps, or souls-like games, then Frog Monster might be worth a spot on your wish list. If you're a competitive person, then this next one might be for you. From the creators of the Not Tonight series comes Soccer Story, a magical sports RPG. This one also has a demo you can play right now. Right off the bat, I can tell the game has a ton of activities and collectibles to keep things interesting. Pretty much the opposite of Frog Monster with its bright color palette and cheerful soundtrack. The story of this game takes place in a world where playing soccer has been made illegal, but a magical soccer ball appears one day and it's up to us to bring the sport back. I know it's a pretty silly concept, but the gameplay and of course the voxel art style is where soccer story really shines. In the game you'll split your time between training for and playing in tournaments and exploring the world to uncover secret areas and solve puzzles. But like I said, go try the demo for yourself because this trailer doesn't do the game justice. Alright, maybe you're looking for something a little more futuristic and depressing. Soul Tolerance is a sci-fi investigative RPG with turn-based combat and it's on Kickstarter right now. This trailer is almost a year old now, but it seems like this is a pretty ambitious project. The game takes place in a futuristic version of Japan in the year 2144. It's got a classic cyberpunk story. Humans have gone extinct and the world is now controlled by AI. You'll play as a droid detective who starts to question its own existence. Talk to characters, hunt for clues, craft your own minions, and discover a secret that could upset the entire Earth. I know turn-based combat isn't for everyone, but Soul Tolerance seems like the perfect mashup of cyberpunk, voxel, and detective gameplay that definitely knows its audience, and seems to have some pretty deep and extensive lore. Okay, I'm gonna plug one of my other videos for a second. If you like the idea of exploring a futuristic voxel city like this, but would rather run your own ramen stand than fight against an army, Nivalis might be a better game for you. Check out the card in the top right hand corner for a complete breakdown of that much more peaceful game. Alright, this last game is a bit of a bonus, since it doesn't even have a name or a Steam page yet. The developer is known as Tooley1998 on both Twitter and YouTube, and he's doing some pretty cool things with voxels. He's been posting monthly video updates for about a year and is showcasing hunting, crafting systems, and new biomes in his game. One thing that really caught my attention, aside from the beautiful voxels, were the game's fire physics and the magic wands. The project takes inspiration of course from games like Minecraft and Cube World, but I thought it was still worth mentioning, even in its earliest stages, because of the developer's passion and attention to detail. If you like what you saw here, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, and if you love all things voxel and want to learn about even more cool games, then check this out.